Wow, I haven't made PC content in quite some time. Wonder why. Today we're looking at this. This is, I have it in the computer. You just can't see it, I don't think. This video is gonna be a little bit different. Uh, this one's a biased review. I'm not speaking anything about facts. I'm just gonna sit here and bitch about a graphics card, which absolutely sucks and has not worked for me at all. Uh, I don't know if this is the consensus. I haven't looked that far into it because I don't plan on doing a full review for this thing. It does not really uh, warrant it. When I get a new RTX card, maybe. Probably not. So don't take anything I'm about to say into account. But I absolutely fucking hate this thing. So when you turn the graphics up in game, I, I'm pretty sure you expect to lose some frames, right? You're, you're sacrificing a little bit of your frame rate for some more fidelity. How about the opposite? What if you turned your graphics up and you got more frames? I'm not fucking with you, by the way. I, I'm, I'm actually being 100% serious. Something I've noticed when looking at the statistics for my AMD GPU versus my RTX 2060 when I had it was that the RTX card always had a locked core clock. It always stayed at the same core clock all the time. AMD thought it was a great idea to have this fluctuating awful core clock that doesn't stay anywhere. So when I turn graphics down on games, the core clock's inconsistent, frame rates are inconsistent. I turn the graphics up, it uses more of the GPU, and for whatever reason, higher GPU usage gives me a more consistent core clock. And when the core clock isn't trying to fucking off itself, it's barely keeping up with the performance of my RTX 2060 that I had forever, and that was a Founders Edition RTX 2060. Not only for the most part is it on par with the 2060, but in some things it's actually worse. Running Java Minecraft with shaders, it runs smoother with the RTX card. When I was running the RTX 2060, I had two less cores, half the amount of RAM, and it was 800 megahertz slower, and everything also ran a decent bit hotter. But with a new AMD 8 core CPU and 32 gigabytes of 4000 megahertz RAM, this GPU cannot keep up with an old GPU that I had in an old shit system that was basically the bare minimum. Yo, why are you trying to- Whoa, whoa! Shut the fuck up! I've heard a lot of complaints about AMD drivers, and I personally haven't had any issues with my RX 580, so I thought I was just one of the lucky ones. Turns out that was completely fucking true. I have spent dozens of hours trying to troubleshoot the driver issues I have with AMD. Not only does the GPU kind of perform like shit, but the record and stream option, which is AMD's in-software screen capture shit, it's not there. In fact, it's never been there. I've downloaded every single RX 6600 XT driver since the beginning of time, and in not a single one have I got the option to record or stream. So some of you may have noticed that the recordings and the screen captures and the screenshots that have been uh, on the channel in the past, I'd say six to eight months, yeah, have you noticed that they've been ever so slightly lower in quality? That's because I don't have a fucking software to capture the screen with that can record at high frame rates with high resolutions and not detract from performance to the degree where my PC basically, it, it's dying. With a Ryzen 5 1600 and an RTX 2060, I could capture video on this monitor, full resolution, 60 FPS, with no performance drop whatsoever. But using all of this newer hardware and the streaming service I use to live stream, the recordings look like shit. And I have to take all my screenshots with the snipping tool, which admittedly gives me high resolution images, but I can't get really good recordings, it kinda sucks. So the physical quality of some parts of my videos have dipped. It doesn't perform any better than the card I had previous. Minecraft runs worse. I can't run RTX Minecraft at all anymore. And it's currently $250 cheaper than when I bought it. So if you would like to pay $250 for the piece of shit graphics card I have, which there's nothing really wrong with it, it still runs cool and everything, at the end of October, I will be listing it probably on either Facebook Marketplace or some, some I don't know, some stupid shit. I'll post about it in the community tab, so keep up there if you're interested. I'm gonna upgrade to an RTX card and completely forget that all of this ever happened. I vow from now on to be a full-on NVIDIA fanboy and defend them and all the shitty anti-consumer practices that they do, make a fool of myself, delete tweets, all that good shit, I promise. I'll never, I'll never turn my back again. There really is no good side to this battle, is there?